Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Showcase on Warframe. The object of fascination today? The Stradivar. Well, I don't think you'll be playing this like a no Stradivarius, but no matter. The Stradivar has a unique feature that's not unique in the real world. The ability to switch between semi-automatic fire and a full auto. Such a common feature in today's guns. Not that I really know much about them, but either way, it's what's in this game, and that's what's so different about this weapon. Now, the interesting is, the stats are actually different when you go to semi-automatic fire. I'll get about that later, but for now we can see the stats in front of us. We got plenty of uh, damage if you consider full auto. Plenty of accuracy, good fire rate. Quick good chance could be better in full auto. By the way, it's all full auto stats, I should mention. And the magazine's very large to accommodate that. And a quick reload time, too. So overall, it's a DPS weapon. Unless you switch to semi-automatic, then it becomes entirely different. Then that's the gist of it. Where you'll get this, well, you gotta go to your marketplace, you'll find it there. Or you buy a plat or through the blueprints, up to your choice. For blueprint, then the credits ain't too bad, 20,000. 15,000 ferrite, which is a bit hefty, but no matter. 8,000 polymer bundle, ooh. And three null sensors, which is, eh. And two annoying argon crystals. So, building requirement is, a. Uh, Somewhat a little heavy, somewhat, but no matter. The question is now, is it going to be worth it? Well, you have to stick around to find out. Or maybe you skip ahead by five minutes. <laughs> For his performance, I'll actually talk about the stats of the semi-automatic fire. You get the performance of this is pretty simple. Full auto and semi-automatic, pretty easy. Anyhow, now, for stats, the impact gets lower. It goes from 8.7 to 7.5. However, the puncture gets higher. It goes from 8.7 to 30.0. A dramatic leap there. Slash gets also higher. It goes from 7.5 to 12.5. So pretty damn good. Next is critical chance. It goes from 10% to 20% and actually becomes viable. Also status increases from 5% to 15, also becoming viable. And the fire rate is reduced. Well, to be honest, it's as fast as you pull the trigger, but it says it goes from 10.0 to 5.0. Now, another question that the wiki page does not address. Do critical mods affect critical chance of semi-automatic fire? The answer? Yes. So with everything I have, it should be around the 60% marker, and we can see it's definitely reflecting that. Now, I intentionally lowered the damage of the weapon to show this, but yes, we can see around 60%, we are definitely hitting that mark. Why the game never tells you any of this, or even the wiki page, is beyond me. Information I usually gotta dig up myself. But will this make it a good weapon? Let's find out. Time for the ultimate build. Alright. This weapon's a bit of a nuisance for me to build, because of that information, that lack of information, but I got it done nonetheless. As you could tell, probably now I done a critical build. So for raw damage, I got my serration and split chamber for multi-shot. Just out of the way like that. Piercing caliber increases the puncture damage. Now what these images actually are, it's a bit hard to tell. So let's assume it's much higher. And also, I've done a critical build, critical build with critical chance with minus point strike. And Argon Scope, which increases critical chance on headshots. And then I got critical damage of vital sense and hammer shot. Which also slightly increases the status. So my critical chance, again, should be sitting around the... Around 50 to 60 range, since it's on critical lay this time around. Instead, it should be around the 20 22 range. But no matter, I'm not going for an elemental weapon here. Now, for my Riven mod, I got pretty decent. I got negative 95% weapon recoil, so weapon recoil is like non existent. And then 156% more damage, which is almost narceration right on top. Well, I already rolled this, already got this mod, mod from some of my other guys who already had it rolled, so. I had to roll it four times for this result. I am not rolling this mod anymore. <laughs> uh, after rolling ten times, it's now 3,500 cost to roll. So there's the damage. Okay. Now for a test, we'll be going against Grenier though. Though to be honest, I'm not going to go out on the high level. I'm going to go at level 75. It, despite this weapon, it's decent. The full auto is okay. But the semi-automatic is where it is. But the problem with my view of this weapon is, when it turns to semi-automatic, this weapon just turns to a Latron. That's it. 
That's my beef with this weapon. Although, with the full auto, it's arguable that, yes, you can now manage your own ammo, but the Latron doesn't have ammo issues. It does not. And this is what this weapon becomes, is a Latron. Well, it's a, it could be a machine gun, but the problem is, the machine gun, it's crap. The Samomatic is alright. The machine gun, the full auto, is crap. Ugh. So you can see, it really didn't really do a whole lot against Grenier, and it's meant to fight against Grenier. No matter, let's grab Samoas. Gonna grab about 12 of them, and it'll be the same level. 75. Alright, repeat of last time. Full auto? Not so great. Semi automatic? Yeah, acceptable. And from a semi automatic, at least you can fire from cover safely. So yeah, it's acceptable. A level 75. Definitely more enough bullets. Definitely more enough bullets, but when you go to full auto, it just doesn't get the job done. It really doesn't. I kill, I kill these enemies faster in semi-automatic mode, because I got critical build. There's nothing you can really do for the full auto build. Nothing. I'm already putting almost all the damage. So now let's finally go get some chargers. 20 of them, level 75. Can you guess what's going to happen? You probably guessed. Now the full auto mode does do better here slightly. But, uh, still, I'd rather go semi-automatic. It's just such a heavy difference in damage. If the full auto is only pulling around 150 puncture, I should be putting around close to 700 puncture per shot. Now, it really doesn't work. The, I know the map doesn't really add up like that, but somehow it's just better with the critical build, with semi-automatic. And what I've done here shows that. So, short of it is, I'll say again, Full auto is garbage, semi-automatic is good, but then the semi-automatic version is just a Latron, so why use a Stradivar? It's a good question. But enough of that, let's go into the pros and cons of the Stradivar. Now on the pros, I will admit though, this weapon's incredibly fun to use. The fact that it has semi-automatic means you will be able to give up manager ammo. You won't worry about running out immediately. And this semi-automatic version is Decently powerful. Decently, anyway. Going on to cons. The full auto version is garbage. It's barely, I don't know why they don't buff it, because it's horrible. Half the stats are hidden from you. So, missing information is a way to put that. Alright, and I don't, I guess I put it as a con. Similar to Latron in semi automatic I'm not sure how to word that one, though. But no matter. Going on to the score for Stradivar. I'll be combining both. There's no separate views. This is both under one. Damage gets a 7 out of 10. Like I said, semi-automatic is respectable. It's decent. Accuracy though, 10 out of 10. Even the full auto version is very accurate. And semi-automatic is might as well be a sniper. Design, 6 out of 10. I can see what they try to do here, but they kind of butchered the full auto version, and that kind of defeats half the purpose of this weapon. Ammo. I'm going to give ammo a 7 out of 10. The full auto version will chew through your ammo quickly if you're not careful, but you do have the semi automatic version that helps manage that. Now moving on to MISC, I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. Why? Missing information. That is like the most killer for me. This is like one of those things that developers should really just fix. There's no excuse for that. Zero excuse. If you're not telling me how this gun works, it's fucking lazy what they did. But in the end, it still got 32 out of 50. It's still an exceptional gun, just wish the developers would actually fix and add in proper information. But it is what it is. Now, the weapon may be exceptional, but I still have a specific feeling on it that it's not really worth the ultimate build. Because I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. When this weapon is its ultimate build, and you go into semi-automatic, it's a Latron. It's almost the same stats as Latron. And at that point, why use this? Latron will probably come out stronger in the end. Not to mention, it has better critical chances if I do recall. So why use this is a good question, when you can use a Latron. But that's my feelings on it. But no matter, it's been Showcase for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.